Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Roy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. Pal world is having black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are launching the game what you need to do is we just need to launch the game and you have to wait for some time which means uh, for me the game was launched first, first time when I launched the game it worked like a charm. But later I had the issue. But what I did is I waited because the game has to get completely launched up. So then I just have to wait when I when, when it get launched up. Like, like what I'm trying to say is you have to wait at least five minutes or something. Between this it will be launching up. So that is what you have to do as the first step. Next one is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. For this we just need to go over here in the game. Right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here you can go to the install it file. And just click on the browse when you click on this one you will be redirected to the installation folder if you check over here at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common pal world and here is the application so this is the game actually so right now from here we just need to right click over here and we have to go to the show more options navigate to the properties go for compatibility and click on run this program as administrator and this has to be selected and now go for apply and we have to go for ok so we have to run the game as an administrator which is very important and also the game pass users those who are trying to purchase the game from the xbox you have to create a shortcut so just try creating a shortcut over here and when you create a shortcut over here and you have to keep in mind that will you, instead of launching the game from the xbox app you have to launch the game from the shortcut and that will be working fine so this we found from the reddit and many users mentioned this step working for them which i mentioned right now that is second step so you can try this out as well third step we have to run the steam and game as an administrator so both has to be done for just just go over here in the search and search for steam you have to search for steam like this now click on run as an administrator and go for yes now once after doing this we have to run the game as an administrator as well so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the browse so that will take you to the installation folder that is over here you can check at the top and also you can also navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer right over here that is go to this pc local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam and we have to go for steam amps go to common now from here we have to navigate to uh, we have to go over here we have to navigate to the pal world now go over here and we have to right click and we have to go to show more options go to the properties go for compatibility make sure run this program as administrator is selected because uh, i made this right now because uh, i have already run the game as administrator so uh, the users who are not made this you'd have to check this box and once afterwards just go for apply and we have to go for ok once you're done with this one, if still the issue is there, we can move to the next step. That is all about we have to make sure that we have to disable the full screen optimization and also we have to make sure the game is running in the compatibility mode. For the same, just go over here, right click, go to the properties. We have to go to the install it file and just navigate to the browse over here that will take you to the installation folder like over here. Now go to the game. The first one, right click and we have to go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties and also go to the compatibility the first one make sure if the game is running in the disable full screen optimization is turned on we have to turn this off we have to make sure that you have to disable the full screen optimization should be turned on and also we have to make sure that you have to run the game in the compatibility mode you can either set this to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok if windows 7 is not working try with windows 8 go for apply and go for ok as well so make sure the compatibility mode is selected and you have to run the game in the full, full screen optimization and also make sure the game is running as an administrator and both the things has to be selected. Once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So I'll be showing you this in the last. So you have to keep in mind this is a very important step. So we'll move to the next one. That is all about we have to update the graphics card. So which is a very important step. For updating the graphics card, I'll be providing both the link in the description that to NVIDIA as well as to the AMD users. The NVIDIA users has to go over here, select everything like your product type should be selected, product series should be selected, product should be selected, so you have to select according to your configuration. 
and I'm on Windows 11 so I'm selecting Windows 11 and go for start search and when you go for start search you'll be getting the latest released outdated versions of the uh, this one and you know you have to uh, select over here the geoforce and I'm selected the wrong one so go over here in the start search and we'll be getting the latest released driver versions like this. So 546.65 is the driver versions and you have to download this one. And you can also try downloading this version as well. So you can download this one and install and restart and that will be working fine. We can also try uh, go over here and select the graphics and select every details over here and go for submit. Now from here we can go for Windows 11, download this one and also you can go for Windows 10, you can try download this one as well if you're on Windows 10 and try installing and that will be working fine. Next one you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ which worked for many users, you can try this out. So if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, we can download this one. This even worked, so you can try this out. This is an important step. And after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try moving to the next step. That is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search. We have to search for control panel. Just search for control panel. Now go over here. Now navigate to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow and app feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and hence it is an alphabet, just keep scrolling down and navigate to P over here. So PAL world you will be able to find this. Make sure both the private and public both has to be marked. So imagine if it's not there, we have to just click on uh, over here, click on change setting. Imagine the game is not here, we can add it by default, just click on allow another app, go for browse. Now we just need to go to this PC. Now just go to this PC, go to local DC, go to program for x86. Go for Steam, we have to navigate to Steam apps. Now we just need to go to the common. Now from here we have to navigate to PAL world. Now just keep scrolling down and navigate to PAL world. Select this one and we have to open and we have to add it. So I'll be getting the error because the game is already added. So if the game is not here, this is how we can add it. And afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one, we need to update the windows. Just go over here in the game, search for settings over here, navigate windows update. Just update the windows which is very important. So as you can see, we are having few uh, pending updates. So just clear out all the pending updates like uh, cumulative updates. And also make sure the windows is on the latest versions and afterwards still if you have the trouble. Like I said, you can try the last one. That is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click, we have to go to the properties, go for install it file. There is an option called verify integrity of game file. So what happens is, this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and which is causing these kind of issue such as crashing, not launching, freezing, stuttering, black screen, even stuck or loading screen and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So you just need to wait because this has to reach 100 percent age. And once afterwards try launching the game and that will be working fine. So these possible workarounds can be done. So we just need to wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do afterwards. So right now as you can see the games are already successfully validated and 479 are successfully validated. We just need to try closing this, try launch the game and these possible workarounds can be tried and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.